Hey guys, it's your girl Porsche on the Journey back with another dope freaking video. As you can see in today's title, I'm going to be talking about that time I got HIV slash AIDS. And I know what you're thinking, sis, you cannot get rid of HIV or AIDS, but just listen to the story. I promise you're going to understand by the time we finish. If you made it this far, if you've watched any of my other videos, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And if you're new, welcome. Hit the subscribe button, join the gang. And if you're not new, welcome back. Well, this goes back to a time period when I was really, what was I using? I think I was using crack the most. I think so I started having these different scars on my skin if you've watched any of my other videos I talked about the effects that certain drugs had on my skin and on my hair so I started having really nasty scratches I don't think you can see them now um, but what I'm gonna do is if I can find it I'm gonna insert a clip of some videos maybe or pictures so that you can see exactly what I'm talking about As y'all see in those pictures, I had different scars that were really ugly, nasty scars. Scars that I had never seen on my body before using drugs. So I started seeing those. Fast forward, I'm showing them to my mom. I'm showing them to different people that I'm around. And I'm like, yo, my skin is breaking out. It's bad. It's horrible. Now, literally what was happening is I would touch certain pieces of drugs and afterwards subconsciously i would touch my skin i would scratch my head i would do different things like that which causes the residue of the drugs to touch my skin and it caused my skin to break out i'm a very sensitive skin type of girl now when i say that my skin would break out it wasn't just any type of breakout the marks looked actually like scratches and some even appeared to be sores okay so i'm showing them to everybody that i'm close with and i'm really really confused as to what it could be fast forward i'm going to get a checkup this is what i think is so crazy because apparently people in this area are not getting regular checkups and what i mean by that is checking yourself for stds one day i'm kicking it with my friend he He's actually I think he's yeah he's related to me the area that we live in most of us are related to one another and I tell him like yeah I'm going to get checked today blah 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 so he like oh that's what's up da, 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 da. everything was cool right but I ended up not going that day I don't even remember what happened but I ended up not going I was just gonna go to a free clinic because I was not seeing a regular doctor however I thought it was important for me to go get a regular checkup just to be clear I was not going to get a routine checkup because of my skin or my scalp breaking out it was literally because this is something that i do for years even before i became an addict so i didn't end up going that day i mentioned it to my mom and i guess i don't know if me wanting to go get checked which she knew about and me having these scars it raised a red flag to my mom so my mom starts freaking out and starts telling me like, you got to be careful. Ain't no telling what that is, blah, blah, blah. And she says to me, do you think that you may have HIV, AIDS? Like she's whispering it to me, but she's looking like terrified when she says it. So I'm looking at her and I'm like, no, but I'm remembering that I didn't go get the checkup that I was supposed to get. So she keeps mentioning every time that I come to her about another scar or whatever, she keeps mentioning to me, you need to go get yourself checked out. But I think at this point, she had already made up in her mind that that's what it was. We make an agreement to go to the free clinic because I still want to get checked out. And at this point, she's freaked me out so bad that I'm, I'm wondering about myself, like what's going on? So I go to the clinic and I get checked out. Now, I got a regular STD check. However, in order to get the HIV or AIDS test, I had to go to like a hospital or regular doctor. So they were only able to do the STD check. Next thing you know, I go get the checkup. Of course, the way it works is if they do not reach out to you, that means that you're good to go. If they do call you and leave a message or if they speak to you, then they're gonna be informing you that, yeah, you got some type of STD. So me, I knew that, but I don't think, I know that my head was just not in the right space and my mom doing all this talking, it freaked me out the fact that nobody had called me from the free clinic to tell me anything. So I'm a little worried, but at the same time, I'm just like, no, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Fast forward, like a few days go by, 
And I ended up reaching out to one of the people that like I would hit up for drugs. And he's like, um, yeah, come through. You know, basically I hit him up saying, can I come through and get something? So when I get there, he's like, Portia, let me, let me pull you to the side. Let me talk to you. So I go to the side and I talk to him and he asked me, yo, what's going on? I heard that you was going to the free clinic because you had an STD. So I'm just looking like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> like, first of all, I was going, I did end up going, but it just confused the crap out of me because I'm like, who would have told him that for one? And for two, what's the big deal? And three, why would you be going to the free clinic if you already know that you have the disease, like it, it just wasn't making sense. It wasn't adding up. So I'm explaining that to him. And I was just like, um, for one, I was going to get a regular checkup, but like who even told you that? So of course he didn't want to disclose any information as to who told him or why he found out, but he was very concerned. I don't know. I think he just didn't really believe me at the time or he was kind of skeptical about it. So he was being weird might as well say what it is he was being weird towards me so i was just like wait the only people that i told that i was going to this clinic was my friend slash cousin and my mom and i'm like i know it wasn't my mom like my mom for one she she's not gonna be spraying rumors about me and for two she didn't talk to the different people you know that was in the world that i was living in the street world basically she didn't talk to those people so i'm like it had to be my friend slash cousin of course i didn't say anything right away because i just didn't want to be confrontational about it and i didn't think it was a big deal that week goes by and maybe like two or three people outside of the first person that asked me had asked me okay what's up you got you got an STD? Like, and, and it was so crazy because they were going so far as to say not just an STD, but like that I had AIDS or HIV. So <laughs> at this point, I'm looking crazy. Let's remember I've lost all this weight. I got these scars on my body that um, I think that is a side effect from when you have AIDS or HIV. So I'm looking like I fit the description and people that are in my own family are saying it. So I'm looking like a liar. I'm saying no, but I'm looking like a liar. And by this time, I just got fed up. I felt like I needed to confront him at this point. Um, I had already made arrangements to go get the HIV and AIDS check because again, I could not get that test at the free clinic. I had already made arrangements to do that and I'm just like kind of irritated, but I'm freaking out. I'm completely freaking out at this point because I technically don't know. Like, is that the case? Do I really have AIDS or HIV? Up until this point, I never had even a thought that I had HIV or AIDS, but I guess I had let everybody psych me out, especially my mom, and especially with the different scratches and scars that I had on my skin. What ends up happening is I go to the hospital, I get the check, I'm completely fine. I have no type of AIDS or HIV and not even just a simple STD that can be cleared up. I didn't have anything. But y'all get this, when I went to the hospital, it was late. By this time I had freaked out. I had completely freaked out. My mom's acting weird, everybody's freaking out. And then some of the last people that had asked me, they said they had got the information from someone that was close to me. Not just close to me, but somebody that I was actually really, really tight with just came right out and said like, it's coming from your own mom. So that kind of like really blew me. It just, it freaked me out. Pretty much, it freaked me out. But they said, this is coming from your mom. It's gotta be true. So I'm pissed. I'm just like, what? Like, why is my mom saying this? Well, apparently, my mom was so freaked out and so scared that she reached out to another family member, someone that was closer to my age and just started asking all these questions and mentioning how I was looking and just trying to get feedback. And y'all know how it go. Basically, one person told one person told one person told one person, and then it ended up in the streets. And so everybody was just like, this is accurate information. This is coming from the source. It's got to be true, right? It was not true. I'm kind of pissed off when I go that night. I'm pissed off with my mom because I really didn't understand all the details yet. I didn't know how it got out from her, but I knew that they couldn't be lying because she here she is telling me like I think you got I think you got AIDS or whatever. So <laughs> so I'm pissed off the night we go, but it's late and I'm just like whatever. Let's get this done. So while we're in there, my mom is talking to the doctors, 
let me tell y'all this is this is my mom um you see you see right there you see yeah i mean i don't know what to do with her she just she in the streets and she really in the streets and ain't no telling what she doing <laughs> so as y'all know well if you looked at my video when i talked about how i was able to afford my drug habits then you know that I didn't have to do the open leg dance. Like I just did not have to do those type of things. However, you can have sex with one person and still contract for any type of STD. Okay, y'all, call me the voiceover queen. I don't care, but I gotta clarify something. At the time that my mother was making all these accusations and feeling very, very confident that I had contracted an STD such as AIDS and HIV, it wasn't necessarily because of her thinking that I was loose or that I was just out there sexually according to my mom she knew that people that were drug addicts could very easily contract different diseases from one another sometimes from using the same needle which i didn't use at all different things like that she just knew that addicts and aids and hiv went hand in hand according to what she knew so i'm just irritated because she's making it sound like like I might just be out there and I get it. That's the narrative. Like if you're an addict, especially as a female, that's a very normal thing to do. Just be out here loose. Like it's it's extremely normal to do. So I get it, but I'm still irritated. I know that she's coming from a place of love and concern, but if y'all could have seen her in that hospital, like basically telling them people because she's telling them something they're asking me a question i'm saying something completely opposite of what she's saying and she's rebuttaling like mm, don't don't listen to her ain't no telling what she out there doing look at her you can see it you you can clearly see it like that's how she's coming and we get through that night i find out that i don't have anything i don't know how this one i'm really confused about but somehow it gets out that i went to the hospital so I go back out. I'm literally just trying to get high. That's all I want to do. I want to go get high. And of course, I do not. Y'all can see that I'm in a better place right now. So I do not condone at all what I was doing. But I'm just sharing with y'all what I was doing at the time. So I'm out here. I'm trying to get high. I'm just trying to find somebody that's going to make sure I get drugs that I'm looking for. Everywhere I go, everybody's turning me around. They're like, uh-uh. They whispering. They see me coming. They just start talking. And I'm just like, what is going on? So the same guy that told me from the beginning, like, yeah, this coming from your peoples, that same person, he kind of like took my word for it. He had an idea that like, okay, ain't nothing wrong with that girl. So he pulls me to the side and he tells me like, bro. You told me you ain't had nothing like now I'm hearing you going to the hospital. Like what's going on? I'm just like completely embarrassed. Um, even though he did pull me to the side both times, I'm embarrassed because you're pulling me to the side. But at the same time, I just walked up and everybody's talking about me. I can clearly see them. So I'm definitely embarrassed. So next thing you know, he's just like, what's going on? So I finally tell him like, well, <laughs> I like to get my vagina checked. Like, I don't know what's wrong with everybody in this town or just people in general but apparently if you go get a regular checkup to make sure that you're straight down there to make sure your hoo-ha is not hoo ha and apparently that's a problem apparently it's not normal i know that a lot of guys do not get checked but you should it's definitely not anything wrong with that as a guy but i know that a lot of guys don't do it but i just i'm disappointed in the females especially if you out here being sexually active it's nothing wrong with going to get a regular checkup so i'm explaining to him like look this is the step by step this is all of what's going on and i'm very confident this time around because i know that i know that i know at this point that i don't have anything so i'm just like irritated I don't know like i just explained to him like i went to go get my vagina checked and i didn't have an std however you 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 her my mama everybody scared me i'm breaking out i'm looking crazy i'm feeling crazy so i went to go get the extra check you know i wanted to go the extra mile to make sure that that wasn't a problem either and i find out that i don't have anything this time around though y'all i got my paperwork with me yes i do i ended up calling the free clinic because they didn't call me 
I ended up calling the free clinic like, hey, what's what's my results? I didn't get any results back. And that's when they explained to me that if you're clean, if you don't have any STD, they leave you alone. They pretty much don't reach out. So I asked them, could I get a copy? Because like, I wanted to show people, I don't know why, but I was walking around the streets with these papers, <laughs> letting everybody know your girl is clean. I do not have an STD. I do not have AIDS. I do not have HIV. And when I left the hospital, I had already got that paperwork. So I got both pieces of paperwork. And I'm just like, look, this day, as well as that day, I don't have anything. So anyway, I pull it out my back pocket. And I'm just like, look, so y'all can stop asking me and i know that he's one of those people that like people listen to him so i knew that showing him i felt like it was enough it's like if he see it and he could tell everybody like look i seen the paperwork that girl ain't got nothing da, 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 da. now what i'm thinking now is why did i even care why did i even care these people don't like me anyway whether i have a disease or not like why did i even care what they were thinking about me or saying about me because outside of that rumor, they had a whole lot of rumors about me, you know, just to say it plain, just to tell it like it is. To this day, of course, like me and him both have like a completely changed life now. Neither one of us are like condoning the whole lifestyle of like using, selling, anything to do with drugs. But fast forward to now, we can both laugh about it. We just laughed about it the other day. And that's what made me think like, okay, I need to tell this story. Because that was like a little thing for a minute. Like these drugs had your girl out here breaking out. Like breaking out so bad. And in return, everybody in the town, everybody said I had AIDS and HIV. And y'all don't come for my mom in the comments. I know how y'all can be. Sometimes y'all leave a comment. Sometimes y'all hit me up in my email don't come for my mom because my mom my mom was just concerned she was extremely concerned and she was stressed out and at that time i had put her through so much y'all have no idea so my mom don't don't come for her i love you mom and thank you for taking me to both places to get your girl checked out because we period we need to figure out what's going on but yeah so that's the story now y'all see why i titled it the way i did that's that Thank y'all for listening. If you have anything you want to share in the comments, um, let me know what you think. Like, do you think I was wrong for like being irritated with my mom at the time? Do y'all think that everybody should have been like coming for me like that? Or what do y'all think about the whole story in general? Leave it in the comments below. If you have any questions about my life with drug addiction, anything, anything that you can think of as far as how I handled the rumors and things like that, make sure you hit me up in my email. I have my email, my social media, everything in the description box below. And give me a thumbs up if you like this video. I want YouTube to see this video and other videos like it so that we can help save a life because guess what? Your girl was out there in them streets, but look at me now. I have changed my whole life around and life is looking good and you can do it too. And y'all, if you're not already subscribed to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Hit the like. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you're not new and you're already a part of the game. No, no. All it's right. It's totally up to you. He blew me, but it scared. Demi. What? You're in my background. Not only. Oh, I don't even know where I was at. Uh, it, just, it freaked me out. Pretty much. It freaked me out.